Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to MC Potoski Talk Show, where you get the latest news and entertainment from Nigeria, my country people, and my choristic people. We the token with pigeon for this great channel, and we the also they analyze the video. The way the video they go, and we know they put magi or put salt. And if this is your first time on this great channel, or you just they then get now you they see our video, I beg make you consider to subscribe and put on your notification bell, and also share this video to your loved ones. My country people, and you will appreciate as well if you watch this video to the end. Make you also help us comment what you think about this video. So, guys, without wasting much time, guys, let's dive into the video. What has voting in Nigeria done to you since the independence? Nothing. Every year they have deceived you. Every year, they have deceived you. They say, come and vote. Now they use P2B. They use P2B. Do you know why P2B jump? When P2B go to the United Kingdom, you know, when P2B go to the United Kingdom, I want to tell you one secret today. P2B may not even know this. But let me tell you one secret. When P2B went to the United Kingdom, he was a uh, had meeting with the British. They advised him. They advised him, you know, you, you know, you can change party, you can change, uh, you can decamp from another party to another, you can change party. And he came back. He thought that those politicians have advised him rightfully. I want to leak the secret. I am a politician here. <laughs> I am a politician in Europe. I know what I'm saying. He will be thought that he may have received the best advice in this whole world. But let me tell you what they did. They deceived P2B. They told P2B, you know, uh, go to another party before, you know, the uh, PDP presidential election. Go to a party where you are going to have chance of becoming the flag bearer. Do you know why they did that? Because they knew Fulani will never relinquish power to Igbo man. I am telling you, never. Do you know why they asked Peter B to decamp? Or maybe the advice they gave to Peter because Peter B is a very sensible man. But let me tell you, no matter how sensible you are, in a situation like this that we are in Nigeria now, you can never know it all. So I hope P2B is listening to me. Now, the reason why the, the P2B, with the advice and consultation and everything he did, the reason why he jumped and decamped from PDP to, uh, to Labour is to continue to make Ndibu relevant in this election in order to draw sympathy. I am telling you the fact. Just think about it. If Peter B came back from the United Kingdom, because he knows he's not going to win president, Peter B will never win the Nigeria president. Everybody knows that, including himself. <laughs> Peter B knows he can never win Nigeria president. Now, this is a fact. So, if Peter B knows that he can never win Nigeria president under a Labour Party, you know, what? Why is the, why is he the contestant? The reason why they push him to contest is to put Ndibo, to put Pierre France on the list of those contesting election. Is to make Ndibo somehow relevant and draw Ndibo to begin to campaign for election for P2B. When you know that you can never, P2B can never win any local government in Sokoto, in Bauchi. He can never win even a word in the northern Nigeria. So, they want P2B to be named, P2B, to be in the list of presidential candidates. 
just to make sure that Ndibo participated in the election. And I am telling you the fact, when they were ad advising him this day, people be thought that he has received a very good advice. <laughs> because you know, you know, in the state where he is now, his all the, the, his only concern is I want to be, I want to contest the election. I want to contest the election. You know, everybody is contesting, you know, thinking that they are going to win. But deep down inside P2B's heart, P2B know he can never win the election. He can never win a presidential election. When the party is not even a modernized party, Labour Party. <laughs> so for P2B to, you know, to win the election in Nigeria is not possible. First of all, the party have to be modernized and the fullernized party before you can think of even making any impact. So, why would P2P go and start jumping from PDP to, to Labour Party? It's because they want him to be in the list. Because if P2P had remained in PDP, they knew he would never win even the primary election. And once he did not win primary election, that is the end. Jumping from that time to another party is just Mejiajiro Kundia. Close the gap. Now, it is still the same close the gap. So, they want to use people to be so that when we are talking, like I see some of the, the global ones, when we are talking, they will say, oh, support P2B, support P2B, P2B is contesting. As if P2B is going to win this election with your vote. <laughs> Jesus Christ. As if, let us even say, all of you from the Igbo land and they vote P2B, he can never win this election. So, why are you wasting your time? You know, when we see the, the supporters of P2B, you know, on social media, they will tell you, um, um, oh, uh, please, uh, come stop this Biafra, support P2B, stop this Biafra, support, support P2B. And then, when you ask them one question about Nigeria, they are ignorant. I am telling you, one question you are going to ask these people, they can't answer you. Ask the question about this Abuja Declaration of 1989. They don't, even as I have been shouting this Abuja Declaration on Twitter, some of them have not even taken their time to go and research on Abuja Declaration. They don't know anything about Abuja Declaration. They don't know. But they are supporting P2B. And now, when P2B, you know, oh no, some of them don't know what is going on. I, I have this, uh, one of my, uh, you know, one of, uh, uh, you know, some of them in Twitter during this discussion. When I went there, the day P2B came back from United Kingdom, and they resigned from PDP. All of them were confused. All of them were confused. They said, oh, P2B have resigned. P2B have resigned. Nobody know what P2B wanted to do. The supporters of P2P, they were only supporting P2B because P2B is an Igbo man. All the Igbo people supporting P2B, they are supporting P2B because P2B is an Igbo man. They are not supporting P2B because P2B is going to win. <laughs> okay? They are supporting P2B because P2B is an Igbo man. And these are the people who are going to vote against Biafra. Believe me, people will vote against Biafra. It is normal. It is the you, you, people we vote against Biafra. So the people you see now campaigning for one Nigeria election are actually those, not all of them. To be uh, is just a distraction, but he's not going to. In fact, if you allow him to be a distraction, he become a distraction. The only reason why we are talking about hmm. it, the only reason why we are talking about it, is for them to know, not actually for our people. Our people have made up their mind, so we are only telling them to understand that we know their game. Now. I want to uh, thank you very much. Let me uh, address this uh, particular question on the screen. This is our, our brother say, if any, uh, honestly, how will you physically stop election in Biafra land? People are trooping out to get PVC. Now, this is the, G the gimmick they are using. Now, let me tell you, the people that are trooping in to get the PVC 
are not getting PVC for election. I want you all to understand that the PVC that the people are trooping in to get are not actually for election. And let me tell you today, so many businesses, so many organizations, so many parastatal sectors of Nigeria government, especially those in the South, are demanding PVC before you can transact with them. Banks are demanding PVC before you can transact. Some of the banks now are demanding PVC. I want to tell you something. So the reason why the people are getting a trooping in to get PVC is not because of the election. It is because they want to use the PVC to continue to transact with these particular businesses. So that is why somebody like me, I am not against it. You know, anything I am not talking about, know that there is something behind it. Thank you for watching that video. We appreciate and this is where I will be leaving you guys. But if this is your first time on this great channel, please do it to subscribe and put on your notification bell so that whenever we upload any video for this great channel, you will be the first person to see the video. So guys, see you guys some other time.